saying it can be healthy as you want, but it doesn't matter if the kids won't eat it, right? Yeah. Right? right? So our next guest has a way to turn the tide in that battle. This is Joy Bauer, nationally known nutritionist, who is hey. here with tips on how you can make simple changes to get your kids on the right track when it comes to eating. We're Good to see you, it. Joy. Well, thank you for having me here. I, I find that whatever I put out for my son after school when he comes to do the homework, he'll eat pretty much whatever I put out. So, so I so try to put out good things. Yeah, and then very, maybe very smart. Maybe one little bad treat. Very but, strategic, yeah. though, because when they're hungry, yeah. they will gobble down what's being served. Mm -hmm. So as parents, we have a lot of pressure. Right, because we have to. We're making the choice. That's right. And sometimes we make bad choices, don't we, Bob? Well, she turned right to me on that one, didn't she? <laughs> so the, the sleeve of Thin Mints that I left on the counter may not have been the best choice today, I is what you're saying. you're going to be a big challenge <laughs> you, might, you might be. I'm a tough convert. But right. what, what are some ideas? You know, we talk about the, the snacks that we know we shouldn't do, at least not tons of. Let's yeah, start, start with there. the bad stuff, yeah. Okay, so there's a lot of obvious snacks that people know to stay away from or mm -hmm. try to stay away from. Right. Soda and chips and cookies and cakes, things like that. But there are also some sneaky calorie bombs because they sort of sound healthy, yeah. but not so much. For example, pretzels. Pretzels, it's, it's pretty much white flour mm. and some salt. So you're eating a big pile of white bread. The other thing even, would be... I, yeah, I thought pretzels were okay. Because they're low fat, right? <laughs> yeah. They're low fat, so you think they're all right, right? People okay. think a blueberry muffin is yeah. loaded with fruit, but really a blueberry muffin is a cupcake without frosting. It's made oh. with a ton of sugar, a ton of butter and oil, and again, mm. it's a calorie bomb. Also things like trail mix. You know, it has the nuts, it has yeah, the seeds, think that, that the stuff the fruit is great. might be in there. Yeah, but also a lot of chocolate add-ons. Oh, you oh know, yeah, and a lot the M&M's in there. Oh, yeah. boy. <laughs> and a lot of those trail mixes do have the M&M's. Yeah. So you could make your own trail mix at home though by taking a handful of whole grain high fiber cereal yeah. and then one to two tablespoons of some raisins, some nuts, some seeds, and some dark chocolate chips. I'm all yeah. about the chocolate. Okay. okay. If right. it's the right kind, I that's, guess. That's and just exactly a little. right. Yes. Right? And okay. also just beware of fruit smoothies. Okay. Fruit smoothies, if you're not in control of what you're putting in, you can't even believe how much sugary syrup yeah. and calories end up to be in that glass. It could be like north of 600. So make that yourself. Don't get it from yes. the, the fast food And you joint, can make right? amazing ones yourself with bananas and unsweetened vanilla almond milk and lots of other fresh fruit, hmm. frozen mango chunks and huh. I pineapple. Like, I like a mango. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to tell you right now. yogurt you could put in there. Are there other things that the kids might think, oh, I'm getting junk food, but we can trick them with swapping out ingredients? Absolutely. How? One of the things that I love to do is I make a peanut butter banana freeze. So you take a banana, peel it, okay. slice it lengthwise, smear on some yummy peanut butter, put the top back on and put Cute. it right in the in the freezer for nice. a couple of hours. And That's it's like different. an ice cream. It's like a popsicle yeah. or ice cream, yeah. It's totally like a popsicle. Again, you can make lots and lots of smoothies. Um, and one of the reasons why I came out with my snack company is because I wanted to merge the best of both worlds, right? Mm -hmm. I want to create things with wholesome, nourishing ingredients, but at the same time, taste amazing so you don't even realize that you're eating something healthy. I say that's sort of the trick yeah. right that, that, that is the trick as the kids sit down you're not just a bowl of vegetables because they're not my kids I gotta they're tell not you right now eat that, yeah right. if I just got like a bunch of stalks of broccoli they're like no. what am I like dad right. what is your well, problem? Well some kids like broccoli. Yeah. <laughs> but your, your snacks are called nourish and they're ready made and you can just Put a bowl full of those down at home. So time yeah, instead, so we have right? their granola bites. Um, we have coconut vanilla. I have mm. chocolate banana, blueberry apple, a chocolate peanut butter, double chocolate, mm. and we are rolling out at Kroger's at the beginning of the year. So All I'm right. really excited to be partnering That's great. with Kroger's. Joy, thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. That's delicious. Thank you. All right, I'm in. <laughs> yeah, get yeah, one. Right. And there's no bad stuff in there. It's mm. okay for your kids. Thank Not you so much, Joy. Very good. All right. Kroger, beginning of the year. We'll be right back. I'm going to. You like it.